What would you do if you knew that you were about to meet one of your comic book icons? Hey YouTube, it's Matt here. Like I said in the introduction, I am going to be meeting my sincere comic book icon. The person that I look up to more than any other creator in the comic book industry. The person I'm referring to is Roy Thomas. Now, Roy Thomas, people that watch my channel, you know why I like Roy Thomas, but he is famous for more than just bringing Conan a Barbarian into comic books back in 1970 with the first appearance of Conan in comics, Conan a Barbarian number one. But Roy Thomas was hired by Stan Lee. Roy Thomas has written Submariner. Roy Thomas has written X-Men. He has written Avengers. He is the creator of the Vision. And guys, so many characters can be attributed to the great Roy Thomas. He's famous for so many more things than just Conan a Barbarian, but I'm a giant Conan a Barbarian fan. And I am going to be meeting him in Providence, Rhode Island at a signing. And not only do I get to meet Roy Thomas, I get to meet Joe from Anachronic Comics, who is also going to be there. Now, Joe and I are going to be at a VIP dinner where we are going to actually have dinner and talk with Roy Thomas. This is a really cool opportunity because, guys, if you're a Conan fan, and you guys, I think some of you may know that I kind of like that character Conan, kind of a favorite of mine, but Roy Thomas is the guy who brought Conan into comic books. He was trying to get Marvel to get a sword and sorcery title. He ended up getting Conan for a relatively cheap price and the rest is history. He has adapted the original Robert E. Howard stories into some of uh, the best comic book writing for the Conan character out there. So Roy Thomas was great. He also wrote some original stories of Conan. He was able to take that character in that genre and add life to it and put it into a comic book. His original, or the original Conan of Barbarian series was very famous. It ran from 1970 to 1993. It ran for 275 issues. Very successful run. And it, for the most part, has been in print ever since 1970, all the way up to modern day. Now, before the VIP dinner, there is going to be a signing where Roy Thomas is signing his autograph to whatever you want during the actual comic book show. Guys, one of my favorite books in the collection happens to be a Savage Tales number one. Now, this book right here, I had bought this a few years ago, and at the time, it was my absolute single highest comic book purchase. The most money I spent on a single comic book. That was this one, this 9.4 Savage Tales number one. Now, guys, I'm really excited about this because... This is my second copy of Savage Tales number one. This book is very famous because not only is this the first Conan in a magazine format, this is also the first appearance of Man-Thing. Honestly, the value of this book comes more from the first appearance of Man-Thing than it does from Conan and Barbarian. But I told you, that is the second copy of this fabulous book. Now guys, these books, were black and white, incredible art in these. Now, here's why I'm excited. I, I collect comic books because of the passion I have for the art, for the stories, for the characters. It's not about money. But I'm going to be doing a video talking about the crazy value of comic books. But guys, and I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that in this video, but you would be doing yourself a disservice if you did not recognize 
the value that some of these books can go for. I told you that this was the single highest purchase that I'd made in my comic book collection a few years ago. The value of this book has gone up dramatically, okay? Now, what has me excited about this is this raw copy, I think, is in better condition than this graded 9.4 copy. I've owned this in the collection, uh, I think since 2003, so we're talking 18 years it's been in the collection. Now, where I'm excited about this, okay, some of the damage, and I'm gonna actually take a close-up picture to show this. There is a little bit of damage where the staple was. There's a little bit of color break down here in this corner, and so the book, and there's some more color break up here. The book's in good shape, it is a 9.4, but it's not perfect, okay? Well, the book that I have here, it is almost showing the exact same damage on that top staple, because the staples are like inside the front cover on here. And there is some more little damage in here. I would not, There's. it's not color breaking, but I'm not sure if it'll press out. But guys, this book, I believe is better conditioned than my graded book. Now, magazines are graded different than a regular comic book. Guys, I have two 9.8 magazines, okay? This is Savage Sword of Conan number one, 9.8. Guys, if this, I'm looking, there's a color breaking wrinkle down here in this corner. Um, the There's definitely some spine roll on this. This book, clearly there's a little bit of rip up here. This book's in good shape. Please don't get me wrong. A 9.4 is, or forgive me, a 9.8 is going to be in good shape, but I don't feel that it would be a 9.4 if it was a normal size comic book. I have another 9.8 here. Foom number 14 and its appearance of uh, Conan. Guys, same thing. Good condition. I don't think this would have been a 9.8 if it was a normal size comic book. So I'm kind of excited about this, and I keep holding it up. This raw copy, I don't think this is 9.8 because there is a little bit of damage down here and there is also that damage where the staple kind of makes a, an indent in the front cover. But I have high hopes that maybe we can get a sign 9.2, 9.0, hopefully 9.4. If it gets 9.6, I'd be over the moon. I don't expect it, but you never know. Now, and CGC is going to be at this comic book show that I am at. They're going to be verifying signatures, witnessing uh, signatures, not verifying. They're going to be witnessing. Now, the reason I'm showing this book is Roy Thomas signed this. I know exactly what Roy Thomas' signature looks like. This is the second signature that I have of Roy Thomas. I like signature placement on this book. You can see it right there. And I chose that spot whenever I had this signature, I made a window bag because there's the art by Barry Windsor Smith is so gorgeous on this book, I didn't want to mess with the art. So we did it in the trade dress. This is another signed copy of a Roy Thomas signature. This is Submariner number one from 1968. This signature down here, it's not bad. It's just hard to see. I'm not a big fan of the color, but it's again, there's pretty busy art, but I can compare these signatures. They're roughly the same size, so I know what to expect. I need to figure out exactly where I want this signature. I always look for a negative space on the cover. And guys, I'm gonna hold up my uh, graded copy so that I can find a place to put it. Part of me thinks trade dress, That's to me, that's not a bad place. Uh, there's also some room here, but I think I'm going to have it on the trade dress for this whenever I make a window bag for my raw copy. But guys, I'm super excited to meet Joe from Anachronic Comics. If you guys aren't subbed up to Joe, please sub up. There'll be a, there'll be a link to his channel down in the description, but I'm excited to meet Joe, who's one of my, you know, one of the best people on YouTube. Uh, it's just, he's just such a good guy. Great channel. Please give him a sub up. 
And I'm really excited to meet my absolute icon in the comic book industry, one of the greatest creators. He took over for Stan Lee as the editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics. Obviously, he took over for Stan Lee, so right after Stan Lee, okay? Um, but it's going to be a really dope show, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. But guys, hey, I hope you like this video. I hope you like the content of this channel. If you like it, please hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'm getting really close to a 1,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to break that barrier. So guys, if you want to share this video, please go ahead and do that. Put a comment down below. I love to read and answer comments from the viewers. All right, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching, and you have a great day.